what's up go gang welcome back to my motherfucking channel what's up if you new welcome welcome darling get get comfortable and if you're a returner i really love and appreciate your support i'm gonna be doing a reading for the air signs um tapping in some of y'all and yeah, i'm not even gonna lie y'all like i already feel drained it's some going on some fuckery like i could i could just feel it like, I'm hearing, like, toxic relationships, toxic people. Like, who? Like I'm tapping in somebody. I want to say you. Like, I want to say you. I don't feel like this is necessarily for everybody. But I'm tapping in some energy where it's, like, it's dark. It's, like, I feel very drained. I'm just going to say that much. But I'm going to see what spirit got to say. I feel like I haven't got any rest, and I literally got to good night's sleep like i may have to cleanse myself after this this reading because and i literally just got the shower feeling so rejuvenated took me a florida water shower clean my energy got on here to record i don't did everybody video soon as i that's why i was called to do y'all last i'm hearing the wheat is being separated from the chaff something about a separation the highs and the lows being separated. The high vibrational people and the low vibing people being separated. I'm getting the energy of somebody who's low vibing. Like, I'm getting the energy of a collective of low vibing people that was in the mix of some high vibing people. And they were surviving based off the energy that was bouncing off the people who had high vibes. See, people with high vibes, they know how to keep themselves high vibing. You know what I'm saying? They take their spiritual baths. They do their meditations. They do everything. But when they mingle with people who are low, they get their energy sucked. Even if they can't recharge. See, these people who were sucking your energy, they don't have the tools to actually recharge themselves. I'm also getting the energy of, like, somebody who you once needed is going to need you. Yeah. Definitely. Two queens and a king. This could also be a situation where it's like you were messing with somebody, take it, whether it's feminine or masculine. And then I got the sun card, so I think I'm on the money. This could have been somebody who you thought was your twin flame. There was some type of illusions in this thing that's being exposed, and I, and I think it has something to do with a double life. I feel like one person is married, and then they got a side chick. Somebody don't find out about somebody, but it's like they unsure of it. This could have been the wife find out about you could be the wife of somebody finding out about a side chick. Or um, yeah, that's why I was getting toxic relationships. Somebody's living a double life. This person wants to be dominant and control everything. They're very low vibing. I just saw the devil card. This tells me that this person is it like I'm getting the energy of somebody who is obsessed with having control over things and people but they have zero control over their own fucking life zero very childish use sex as a manage manipulative look I'm, I'm um i'm stumbling over my words so i feel like somebody don't want you to hear this message message yeah, now I'm stuttering and shit. And then I got the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords speaks to clarity and truth. I feel like spirit is blessing you with clarity and truth over a situation. This person could have even had a child on you. Yeah, I'm hearing secret baby. Secret baby. This person I had a baby on you. If this is a feminine, if, the, if I'm talking to a masculine, you got this girl pregnant, get a, get, get a um, DNA test. I don't think this child is going to be yours. I'm a, like, I feel the energy of you may be an earth sign, and they're pregnant from a fire sign. I'm getting that heavy. Take the energy how it resonates. Every message ain't going to be for you. Choose another video. Choose another reader. Won't make me no different. Because I'm going to be blessed regardless. And I feel that's the energy of somebody. Like, I feel like spirit is bringing this truth into you so that way you can free yourself. Yeah, and then I got competition. Somebody know about somebody. Somebody's stalking. 
I'm getting like stalking on Facebook. Somebody could be putting some type of comments under your page. It could be somebody you don't know. You're trying to figure out how the fuck. Like if this Facebook, you're trying to figure out like how the fuck do me and this person even become friends? But I'm definitely getting a vision of somebody going through somebody's phone. Doing some lurking, doing some perping. They could even be using somebody's page that y'all know together. But see, this person and that person, they close they close enough to have each other's passwords or they use each other's accounts to stalk. It's like they have some type of coven where they stalk people. Like they help each other stalk each other. Like It's like they're a fucking problem. And they're definitely in some sort of competition with you. Conflict and battle. I don't know why, but I'm also picking up the energy of somebody who could have told you about a fight or was in a fight and they weren't honest about it and you're going to find out the truth. Or this could also be too, you're hiding the truth from your family. You're hiding the truth from the people who you're closest with. I feel like because these people care about you a lot. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this definitely has something to do with a family, a married couple. The Ten of Pentacles speaks to family, home, money, marriage. And look what I got at the bottom of the motherfucking deck. The Two of Cups. I feel like you and this person has, has built a life together. And you're having some, like, you're in a self-sabotaging energy is what I heard and what I was led to say. But that's not what I was going to say. You're in this energy where it's like you feel like you've built this wealth. You've built this family with this person. You've been so emotionally invested in this person. In the beginning, I feel like this person was very generous, equal give and take. But I feel like it's something that they hid from you. Like, this person could be very good at hiding shit. But it's like, you're very good at finding shit. And this person is oblivious to the fact that you even know what's going on. This person is oblivious to the fact that you know the truth. But you're, it's like you're in conflict with yourself. And, you, and it's like you're also in competition with this third party. It's like you know something and you're keeping it a secret. I don't know why I'm getting the energy of a secret. I feel like whoever you are, they're very dominant. It's like they have a hold on your emotions. But I feel like you guys have built some type of wealth together. I'm hearing something about family ties. What else, Spirit? That's too many. That's too many. Give me one card, one or two cards. And you gave me three again. The Queen of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Magician. I feel like I'm I'm speaking on somebody, you're dealing with somebody who's very emotionally manipulative. It's like they know what to say and know exactly what to do. They also could manipulate you with money. It's like they do something or like... I, for others of you, I feel as if this person knows, but you keep going in the same cycle with this person. It's like they keep love bombing you, making you feel like they're your equal. This person could also be showering you with gifts. It's an emotionally manipulative tactic.
there's a need for you to set healthy boundaries with this person. Oh, I feel the energy that you like spirit, like. I'm not going to lie. This person is, is draining you. It's like you're going in circles. It's like with this energy, I, I feel taken back. Like, I don't even want to speak. It's like this person puts you in the, in a situation or in the mindset where they don't even allow you to express yourself. You feel very controlled. And it's like you're waking up to the games. You're waking up to the bullshit. But I definitely get the energy of somebody standing in their power. Setting healthy boundaries. I'm looking for... Oh, wow. All these just flipped over. Yeah. I feel like you walking away from this situation. You feel like you're going to be left out in the cold. Like you feel as if you're not going to um, benefit like let's just say you're going through a divorce or whatever and then i just saw 11 11 one, one, one. so i feel like there's something you're doing over and over you're repeating yourself you it's like y'all going through the same cycle and and you're hungry for something you hungry for true love you hunger for this person to act, for somebody to actually care i don't know y'all I don't like this. I don't like this energy. I don't like that y'all in this energy. Y'all don't need nobody to survive. Real shit. Once you make yourself your first love, you'll instantly be able to recognize if somebody loves you and somebody fuck with you or not. There's a need for you to listen to yourself because I feel like you know the truth. You have clarity, but you're not listening. And it's like, this person is focused on getting what they can get, how they can get it. It don't matter how they get it. I'm also getting the energy of somebody who sell themselves. If I'm talking to my masculines, they could be selling, you know, selling that cooch. And if I'm talking to my feminines, this could be somebody who will do anything for a dollar. This person could also be on the down low. Shout out to my LGBT community. I ain't got nothing against y'all, but one thing I do not like is a man who's not honest. Because if you're not honest with yourself, you can't be honest with me. That's for somebody. This person may not have been honest with themselves. This person may not even have wanted this. They kind of just want to have some type of control over you. Because I feel like you look really good and it has something to do with their status. It's like you're a trophy. It's like you look good on their arms. Switch the roles, masculine or feminine. But you're getting tired of this shit. <sighs> yeah, like, I got six, like, five, six ones. Somebody who's very noticed. I feel like the spirit is calling judgment on this situation. Bad investments. There's time for you to reroute your energy, fire signs. If this message resonated at all, please give it a big happy thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you feel called to. And I really love and appreciate you guys' energy. I love and appreciate you guys' support. And I think that I'm going to go take me a little nap now. I've been up since, what, 4 o'clock this morning? And it's now about to be 9 o'clock. And I got a big day ahead of me. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye.